Hello, welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT version 12. This is part of our automation series and we've had a request to look at something specific. Uh, so Chris um, Birdbeard, apologies, not sure how to pronounce your name because I'm rubbish with all of them, um, has asked about uh, area of effect spells applying conditions. Because um, in the last video, we were looking at doing that sort of thing, but not with area of effects. And they were particularly challenged by the darkness spell. Um, so, of course, I said, yeah, I'll have a look. <laughs> no promises, um, because this stuff is stretching us a bit. But we have a good solution. So, here I have one caster. Uh, we have the darkness spell. Now, this if I edit this, this is Chris's pre-made version of the spell, right? So let's cast our darkness spell. Um, we're not going to consume spell slot because I'm not actually high enough level. And we get our template. We're concentrating on darkness and I can slap that over here. Uh, and it asks if we want to attach our, to ourselves because you can cast darkness centered on yourself so it moves with you. We're not doing that in this case. And there we go. So we get this proper little graphic that shows that. But if I select Haley, she can walk in and out of that. It's not affecting her vision in any way, shape or form. And we've got no conditions. So we've kind of got the pretty picture part, but we haven't got anything else happening here. Um, so that was kind of the challenge that, that, that Chris and a few of his um, his colleagues were kind of looking at. It's like, how can we change that? So let's um, end that concentration thank you very much and get rid of you and now let's open this individual who has a different version of that spell uh, just make sure nobody's targeted so you can see that the targeting works when we do darkness we're not going to consume a spell slot again uh, it looks all exactly the same but when I slap that there did you see them all come up and say blinded? I've got the same message because this is built off of Chris's one. I've just added to it. So we get this visual. But everybody in there. Now this guy is blinded twice. Don't ask me quite why. I don't know. Um, you might have seen a red error message come up there. Which was basically saying, hang on a minute. I'm trying to blind this guy twice. Don't know why. Um, <laughs> I haven't figured that one out. But from a playing point of view, it works. So if we take this ghoul uh, and we move him out... His conditions disappear. When he goes back in, he becomes blinded again. Now, if we look at Haley, she cannot see anything while she's in that darkness. So, of course, it says darkness. We've got the icon that shows that she's blinded, and it actually does work. So, as soon as we leave that area, she's okay. She goes back into that darkness. She's effectively blinded. Now I know some of you are going to say, oh, the next question is, what if I have devil sight and, and other abilities to see through darkness? One step at a time, eh? <laughs> One step at a time. Thank you very much. Um, so this, this works apart from those, you know, particular magic items and things. Um, this absolutely works from this point of view. Okay, so for most games, this is going to be enough. So your next question is, all right, so what did you do? Okay, so let's look at, uh, first of all, let's break this concentration. There we go. So let's look at this version of the spell and what I did. So this does indeed say that this is Chris's pre-made. So obviously I've used Chris's pre-made's and I've added to that. I also copied in the uh, description from the PHB for this because Chris's pre-mates doesn't always have the description on. All right, so the details. I didn't change anything on here. That this stayed exactly the same for Chris's pre-mates. Um, so yep, second level evocation spell, got our spell components. It's a target of a 15 foot sphere, uh, out to a range of 60 foot. It lasts for 10 minutes. We're going to get that template prompt. That's all good. Now, that bit about asking whether you all want to attach it to yourself or not, that's all in the background Chris's stuff, all right, which is why we want to build on Chris's so we keep that functionality. Let's jump to the MIDI QOL tab here. Um, we want to set this item macro. So 
you may need to click this plus button to get this item macro thing to come up. And we're gonna set that item macro to before the active effects. Okay, AOE target type is any, all right? So anybody who's in there, friend and foe, including ourselves. Uh, and then we can leave this other stuff blank. Now, we technically, we should turn on magic effect there. Um, I haven't, so let's not mess with it in mid-flow. All right, so where does the power happen for this? It's happening in this effects tab. Now, in Chris's version, if I... Uh, let me bring up, just to show you the comparison. So Chris's version is going to be all the way over there on the left. Uh, and I'm going to have my version... Um, on the on the right here for you okay so you can see one Chris's version hasn't bought the description in for us on the details obviously you can pause the video to look at this those should be exactly the same I've not messed with that the MIDI QOL settings um, I have added in the Icatron macro before after effects okay because we're putting a item macro on there all right um, now, when I go to the effects tab, Chris's doesn't have any effect on there. So if you spot at the top, there's no DIME and there's no DAE. Mine has both of those. So for Chris's one, what we're going to do is we're going to add a temporary effect. And then we're going to edit that temporary effect. So Chris's one on the left, my working one on the right. Under this details tab, apply the effect to the actor no we don't want that everything else can be left blank duration so again chris is one on the left he's got it as uh, one round well we know that's not correct so we can take that out uh, and mine is just completely blank the changes this is the important bit chris's has none on here so this is the dae bit all right, but we want it to set blinded. Now I've gone with blinded because that actually gives us the whole effect that we need um, as opposed to, um, you know, so, so it blinds the character, which gives us the visual we need, even if it's not strictly true, but this is a simple, easy way to do this. So what we want to put in here, in this attribute key, as you can see on the right one, is we want a macro for the status effect and the status effect we're applying is uh, not deafened, <laughs> blinded, <laughs> that's the one, okay, but can you see that you can, this is how you can apply other effects such as frightened, which we did with that terrifying gaze, um, or grappled or you know maybe you've got a spell that creates a gravity well and you want to make them heavily encumbered when they're within it um, or it knocks them prone or um, it stuns them um, it, uh, whatever so you can pick that from there what you need we want blinded okay so we've done that bit that's good we can submit changes on that part lovely uh, and now when we go back in here, we can look at Auras. And on this Auras tab, this is the bit that creates from the center of that template when you walk into and out of the area. Or otherwise, it will go, yes, I apply that for everybody in the area when I initially cast it. But leaving the area and entering the area again wouldn't do anything. So you can see again, Chris is on the left or the, you know, Makes it sound like I'm suggesting Chris hasn't done something, but uh, it's not quite true. Uh, we've got no aura. So we want to tick yes to say yes aura, and it targets everybody. So all things within that aura are going to be targeted. And then the only other thing was apply a fact, uh, active effect icon. I tick that as yes. Save, save. Now these two should be pretty much the same. All right, we are going to encounter a little problem. Let's try this Chris's version of darkness that we've just adjusted. Uh, let's make sure we keep one of our player characters in there as well. Attach the self. Nope. And not quite working, is it? Because he's now blinded and it's not turning that off. 
okay so that's not quite what we need uh, let's stop concentrating on that for a moment there we go everybody's off so we're not quite there so what did we miss let me bring both of these up again all right so you'll notice my one on the right has the d-i-m-e the dime is green whereas this one over here isn't now if we click on that this is a macro area um, and on mine we have a small macro in here now in fairness i didn't write this macro i looked at a spell that does do this automatically silence that i'd already had a play with and is already working and i went oh i'm going to copy that macro <laughs> over here so i found one that works and i just used it so what is this macro actually doing well it's first of all it's checking about whether active auras is enabled and if it is it's doing this passive effect thing about applying it regard with, with related to the template area rather than just boom yeah you've got the effect so with that added on if I close that and just reopen this darkness, we can see we've now got the DIME. The dime is now also green because we've now have that macro effect on this item. So in theory, unless something's gone wrong, this should now. Uh, yep, make sure we keep a we get a player character in there. This should now work. Oh, it's not turning it off. I've missed something, haven't I? It's still not turning that off when I leave the area. Okay. All right, so I've missed something. See, it's just a case of playing with it repeatedly and making sure you get it right. So what, what have I missed? And I thought that was part of the solution. It's not. Um, come on, give me your version back again. So sometimes it's very easy to make little mistakes. So best thing to do is to go back and go right what what is different between these two what have I done this should be exactly the same it looks exactly the same the MIDI I haven't put on the before active effects bit that might be all it is that might be all that the problem was There we go. <laughs> That's all it was. So because we didn't on the Chris's version, because we didn't have the DAE effect in there already. Um, yeah, because we don't. Let me bring it up again. See, I, I am nowhere near anything related to being an expert with this. You can tell by the way I'm stumbling when I'm trying to explain stuff going, I don't really know how some of this works. It's not in that bit. It's in the MIDI bit. So this item macro, which is the dime bit, before the active effects, that's the important bit. And because, and that dot option didn't show until we actually had the effect on. Once we've got the effect on, then we can say, do that macro before the effects. So that is just a case of fiddling and playing with these things. But as you can see, we have now taken Chris's version. Maura Keynes is the Chris's version. Uh, and we have put that onto our spellcaster. We've added those extra bits, and this is now working. Now, again, it's not perfect. Anybody with Devil Sight is going to complain that that's not how the spell works. But do you know what? None of mine have got Devil Sight on. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's Devil Sight that allows you to see through magical darkness. But let's say this dude down here, he wanders in and goes, Oh, but I can see in magical darkness. It's like, oh... Yeah, you can, can't you? All right. You can just take the blinded effect off him. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's dirty, but but it works, right? <laughs> oh, look, I can still see. Yeah. 
So you absolutely can do that. So I hope that's useful. I know it's a bit confusing, a little bit all over the place, um, but that's a lot of what these modifying the spells are. Now the good news is of course, is that I now have a working copy of that. Um, so I have added that to my Game Master uh, to my compendium of ones that work so silence darkness both work in that kind of way um, the silence works much more slick and rules as written the darkness is a little bit of a hack um, but you get the result that you need so that is in there now I've got to go through and continue adding to these items as I'm checking stuff testing it making sure it all works um, and I will need to do well, well I'll do a little video just to tell you go away Drasimo thanks mate bye <laughs> I will do a little video to uh, let you know um, when this is updated and what else has gone in there and then re-release another version of this so I hope that's been useful guys um, yeah uh, Try not to send too hot, difficult challenges, but we're getting better, aren't we? We're learning more. We're getting better. See you in the next one. Take care.